Hey there, everybody. This is Don Evans for WatchReport.com, and today we're going to be taking a first look at the TW Steel Special Edition, and this special edition is called the Mitchell Niemeyer. Now, I apologize if I am pronouncing that wrong. Uh, all I do know about him is that he is a Dutch DJ and that he has prominent tattoos, which include uh, stars. And if I zoom in here, you'll be able to see them there on the dial. And that is how they incorporated, um, you know, uh, his flair, I guess, if you will, into the watch dial. And they did it uh, very subtly. Um, you know, it's not all over the place or a bunch of, you know, other... Uh, uh, you know, markings and name on the front of the dial and everything, which that is something that I do appreciate. It is a 45 millimeter case. It has the canteen crown, and with the crown it is just about 52 millimeters uh, measured in width. It has the tattoo stars on the dial, like I mentioned. It comes with a 6S20 Miyota Quartz Chronograph movement. It is 100 meters water resistant. It has a mineral crystal with an anti-reflective uh, coating, and the price is $699. The finish on this is gunmetal. It's like a gunmetal uh, and black PVD. Let me take it out of the packaging here. Let's get a good look at it. Now you can see the combination of the finishes. You have this um, titanium or matte gunmetal PVD that is on the sides of the case and the outer links of the bracelet. And then you have a very high gloss black PVD which is in the middle, the bottom of the case here, the bezel. And on the crown. Now this is a canteen style crown so you will have to unscrew this and once it comes off then you have this very tiny crown which is a little hard to uh, pull out but there you go the chronograph here pretty smooth chronograph actually takes a little bit to depress that um, probably because of the canteen um, attachment here uh, you got to really give it a good press down what I do like about this I do like the dial I like the textured dial I like the little star pattern at top. I like the red highlights there with the uh, the markers on the outer edge of the markers. Now, if you notice, the, the dial is more of a charcoal gray, and then the chapter ring is black. So between all that, you have some nice contrast. You have black, you have charcoal gray, you have red, you have the white markers, and the white subdials for the chronograph. You have your date down there between the 4 and the 5. Ironically, you know, a lot of times when you have a chronograph like this and it's busy and they put a date in there, it's hard to see, but you can pretty much see that date uh, real quick at a glance. Uh, so that is something that I like. Now, I haven't weighed this yet, but, you know, it's a 45 millimeter case and it's on a bracelet. So you initially think... That is a beast of a watch. Um, it really doesn't have the weight that I was anticipating. Um, the bracelet is a little on the thin side, in my opinion. It does have solid uh, a solid end link attachment, though. Pop this open so you can see the case back. It has Mitchell Niemeyer's signature there. Kind of a plain case back. No engraving or anything. It 
This uses uh, friction pins for the link attachment here for the bracelet. Show you the clasp. Hold on one second. Apologize. Sometimes it's difficult to do these things from sitting behind the camera. There is a look at the clasp, a push button to point with the safety lock and the TW steel engraving. Now I have not sized this as of this video. I will be sizing it and uh, I will discuss how easy or how difficult it was to size it in the written review at watchreport.com. But I think you can get a pretty good idea of what this looks like on the wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. As always, anytime you have a canteen crown, it's going to stick out a little bit like that. But I think it looks pretty good for the size. I would imagine just taking a look at it there. I'm probably going to have to remove about three links to fit on my wrist. Now at um, $699, now it, you know it is listed as a special edition. I will say, you know, initially that sounds kind of high. And I would say this is more of a fashion oriented watch versus, um, you know, it's not a true diver. And uh, you have a Miyota Quartz movement. Nothing wrong with the Miyota Quartz movement, by the way. Uh, the one thing that I have an issue, a little bit of an issue with what I would say would be the use of the mineral crystal at $699. I would definitely prefer to see Sapphire here. Overall, I do like the look. I'm going to wear this for a couple of days, get a good feel for it, take a bunch more photos, show you the loom shots and everything else. So, when you're done watching this video, go over to watchreport.com. There will be a link in the description. Click that link, check out the full review. You can leave a comment on the website there what you think about the TW Steel Mitchell Niemeyer watch. You can leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube so you never miss another video. And this has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, giving you a look at the TW Steel Mitchell Niemeyer Special Edition. Thank you very much.